You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. It's very simple. If we're going to be conquered by the scientific technological elite that President Eisenhower warned us about in his farewell address, he said a technological elite that controls the military-industrial complex, they always cut that part out. If we're aware of their operations and if we come together on basic issues and stop infighting, it's over for them. That's why we can't have a peaceful revolution is we're too busy fighting with each other. If there were no more white people, there'd be no problems. If no more black people, there'd be no more problems. Why if the men weren't oppressing the women, there'd be no more problems. It's the same story. But the average person is all aware of that and obsessed with that but they're not obsessed with central banking and how these elites get free money and we don't. I mean, there's all these other big issues that are the meat and potatoes of how the world works and the average man or woman just knows all the political correctness. Even if, even if you don't agree with it, you still know it and it's still there. Joe in Mississippi, thanks for calling. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. It's very convenient that the system is pushing all this vaccine stuff at this time, especially with the Disney outbreak. Uh, and, you know, it's not a law or anything except for in Mississippi and West Virginia. The only exemption you can get is a medical exemption. And uh, it's having an effect on uh, a group here in Mississippi trying to get the law changed to have a philosophical exemption. Absolutely. Yeah, and the, uh, it takes almost an act of Congress to get the medical exemption here in the state of Mississippi. And there's a recording of one of these officials, and he's very vitriolic. He's like, well, do you want your exemption or not? <laughs> it's ridiculous. And so all this stuff comes up. And, you know, never mind. I'm sick of hearing all these people parroting all this garbage, you know, never mind that half of the, almost half of the people at the Disney outbreak were vaccinated. You know, it's hateful not to have a philosophical exemption. Well, that's what we've got to do is get back in their face because they're trying to bully us again on guns, on dads are bad, uh, on vaccines. It's all part of this bullying and trying to get a bunch of idiots to get all hyped up and to get in our face. Great point. Appreciate your call. Indigo Kid, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex. Happy New Year. Welcome, sir. Go ahead. Um, I saw that picture of Katy Perry on uh, your guys' site where she's, like, dressed in the flames. And then you have the guys of the robots. And that's pretty much, to me, trying to blend transhumanism with Luciferianism. And when you look at the transhumanist perspective, uh, globalism seems to be, like, they want you basically to start a hate group to save the environment. They want to, like, make you into a biological android so you propagate their propaganda. But I don't think that really works personally because you don't have the creative spirit behind you to actually uh, create something that's real, so it's just an illusion. But um, I wrote a quick quote I wanted to read uh, just because I watched that movie that you're uh, part of, State of Mind, the other night. I've watched it a couple of times, and uh, here it is. Um, the enemy of the state may appear as a rugged individual, but true radicals are those who worship the state, with uh, which seeks to devour those within proximity using their displaced sense of self-sacrifice as slow-burning fuel comprised of trafficked souls considered to be human resources. And I say displaced rather than misplaced. Displaced sense of self-sacrifice, because when you look at the Tavistock Institute, all the uh, the whole Prussian model of uh, indoctrination rather than education. Yeah, Pavlovian yeah. robots, they admit they were trying to build robots and they were pretty much successful. And that's what this is. This is a human rebellion against being turned into a robot. 
Uh, DrudgeReport.com has some huge breaking news that I'm going to have condensed into an article for Infowars.com. We'll hit that when we come back. This is big, and we have a special guest. Stay with us. More calls coming up as well. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. Year after year, we watched the threat steadily increase. And now, this winter has been the worst on record when it comes to our immune systems and health. For more than two years, InfoWarsLife.com has been watching this crisis intensify, and Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Complex was our answer. Using a proprietary process that takes ancient proven herbs and combines them with modern science, this powerful and affordable formula contains more than 14 key herbs and extracts, including Echinacea, ginger root, elderberry, golden seal root, a proprietary yin chio formula, and many, many more. I take it, and so does my family. It's made in the USA, gluten-free, alcohol-free, no artificial flavors or colors, and not tested on animals. Take advantage of this introductory offer for ancient defense, normally $19.95, now only $14.95. That's 25% off. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139 to secure your ancient defense. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. At the bottom of the hour, Marin Katusa. He's a big mine operator worldwide. Portfolio manager. KC Research. Chief energy strategist. He's going to break down the news behind the news. What's really happening in Russia. Oil prices and more. We're going to continue with your phone calls now with Raider, Vincent, Walt, another Vincent, Chris, and others. I don't think I've ever seen two Vincents on the board at the same time. So that's just some of the calls that are coming up. I just spent most of the last hour getting into the anti-male, anti-family, uh, quote, female empowerment message put out by the big mega corporations that could care less about you and your family. This is all about more infighting, more balkanization, so that we can't ever come together against the new world order. Who is creating an unsustainable economic system that's meant to end civilization as we know it. It's called Agenda 21. And that's only one part of the larger eugenics plan. But before I go back to your calls, I want to get into some of this news. Now, I've been harping on this for years. And we discovered in the middle of last year, or about five months into last year, with our reporters, Jakari Jackson and others, Don Salazar and others down on the Texas border, 
that in McAllen, Brownsville, and other areas, we were told this by our ICE tipsters, that they bring the illegals in by the millions every year, load them on buses, give them vouchers, and then send them to Democrat-controlled areas where each family's paid $7,000 a month, or in some cases $8,000 a month, to take three illegals and then get them all their fake IDs. Then the feds give them work permits and actually hire them. In many cases, the feds hire them themselves. There's the headline with video. City official admits Border Patrol fronting cash to bus illegals anywhere in the U.S. And the Border Patrol came out and said, yes, we complete the smuggling process, close quote. This is totally illegal, outside of law, a huge covert operation like Iran-Contra was. I use that as an example of a secret operation. This is not passed by Congress. This is totally illegal. We have the video and the photos of buses and vans being loaded. Any other media could go down to the Texas border right now and go to Brownsville, go to McAllen, go to the bus terminals, and it's happening right there with the Border Patrol. And the Border Patrol will come over and say, turn your cameras off because they are so freaked out. They're following the tre treasonous orders. Well, now the Center for Immigration Studies did a four-year and finally got the documents. This is out of National Review, Breitbart, and several other reports. Their red link on the left-hand side of DrudgeReport.com is the best place to find them, DrudgeReport.com. We're going to have a whole article done on this, and I want this to lead the nightly news tonight, folks, about Obama criminally opens the border. You know, bombshell documents prove treason. Border opened, illegals legalized by fiat. I mean, this is sensational. It took the New York Times three months to run a report admitting very quietly that, yes, we talked to federal officials. They've ordered outside of law that the illegals be legalized, not just the kids. This is the end of the country, folks. They get welfare instantly when they get here. They vote over 90%. They're given illegal ID cards. I mean, I guess they're legal. They go and vote illegally. I mean, the, the, this is game over. I mean, you understand this is bold. Report, federal government issued nearly 5.5 million work permits to foreign nationals just in the last five years. More than 5.46 million foreign nationals received work permits from the federal government. Since 2009, according to a new report from the Center for Immigration Studies, data uncovered from U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services agencies revealed that approximately 982,000 work permits were given to illegal immigrants and other foreign nationals unqualified for admission, most of whom crossed the border without inspection. USCIS and the agency with the Department of Homeland Security responsible. Now, wait, you think that's bad? You think that's bad? Look at this headline right here. This is the one I really need you guys to print. 18 million. That's in Daily Caller. 18 million total new foreign workers since 2009. 18 million. See, they used to always say there's 15 million illegals. Or, no, no. The, the, from ICE, we've been told it's more like 35, 40 million. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just the beginning as the third world collapses. In five years, 18 plus million. So far, 18 million foreign students and workers, including many university trained workers, have jumped into the U.S. economy since Obama was inaugurated. And in almost every case, they just issue it in a secret shadow immigration system is the quote in the document. Shadow immigration system. See, they have to comply with all these foreign UN treaties, just like the Pacific Partnership they're trying to ram through secretly right now. And that's their excuse. Oh, well, well, we have a treaty. Let's keep it secret. So it's a whole giant secret government. We were told in January by Border Patrol that illegals were being brought in. And to get down to the border. It took us three, four months to get down there and document it. Can you imagine what else is going on? Here we are a year later. And now we learn what we could already tell. I remember it was about six years ago, they had a bunch of fake meatpacking plant raids where they arrested a couple thousand illegals. 
And then it came out a few weeks later that the feds took them right to ICE, gave them green cards, work permits, and then drove them back 